I'm Robbie. I'm Chris. We're from Bear Expeditions. We're going to go over a wilderness first aid technique on immobilizing upper extremity. The purpose of immobilizing upper extremity or any type of splinting techniques is to prevent further injury to the patient and to position them in the position of comfort. Most of the times your patient is going to present in their position of comfort. If they hurt their shoulder from dislocation or have an upper extremity fracture to a bone, they may be presented like this because this is the most likely position they're going to feel comfort with the least amount of pain. So as you can see, he's holding up his arm, he has his hand open, he's not clenching, and we're going to try to keep that, that presentation. In my first aid kits, I carry a decent amount of cravats. So cravats usually come in a little package like this. These are two different companies, same material, same principles behind them. One of the easiest ways to do this is called a sling and swath. So after you get out your sling and swath material, which today is cravats, you'll set one up for the sling. I like to unfold the cravat. As you see here, start at the top of the triangle and place a small knot. This provides a little support for the elbow. I'm going to come underneath the elbow with the knot. I'm going to run one tail end up and over his shoulder, and the other behind his back. I'm going to provide a basic square knot. Make sure this is supporting the arm. So if he's putting weight on this, it still should support the arm. Or relax your arm a little bit. How's that feel? Good. Feels good? I'm going to check his hands, see if there's good capillary refill, good color, good warmth to his hand, making sure I didn't constrict any of that. Finish off the knot. Then I come in with the swath part. I can keep it all closed up just like this. I can use a bandana, t-shirt. Same thing, I wrapped it around, placed a square knot on, underneath his armpit there, and that's going to keep his arm from flopping around, keep it stabilized, it's still in the position of comfort that he was presenting with. To further assist this, I could take some curl X, another piece of another cravat, a bandana, a t-shirt, I have some cobain here, I'm going to shove it in his hand here, because they like to keep it open, you won't see someone clenching their fist if they had some type of pain in their arm. I go hold it here, place a swath over it, now keep it stabilized. Then at this point right here I'll just see how the patient's feeling, check his hand again, check for capillary refill by pushing down on the fingernail beds, check for warmth on the fingers. I'm not going to try and make him move too much because he's already in pain. And that's a basic wilderness first aid technique on the sling and swath. Another way of doing this his sweaters, jackets, provide excellent material for this. You just use the top part of your jacket by the hood, put that underneath his elbow, and wrap the two sleeves over that. Again, place a square knot over. I prefer the cravats because now I don't have a jacket. 
And same thing, after I provide this, I'm going to check his hands, make sure they're nice and warm, they got some capillary refill, you can move them a little bit. You know, you start with your baseline and then reevaluate. And that's Bear Expeditions Wilderness First Aid Technique on a Sling of Swap.